I think the next thing we need to do is to check with Prince Ibrahil to find out if he knows anything about where Jajax is located. Hello there, sir. I did not expect you to return to Dol Amroth so quickly. And where is the king? Oh, ho. I can leave at once. You have but to say the word, and I'll voyage with you to Umbar Baharbel, the city of the sails. The kindred of the coins will not stand long against us, for they will know my face and my reputation. But you're not here to recruit me for the mission, are you? I can tell from your expression that the king wishes this to be a more secret quest. Yes, I see the need for that. I apologize for getting carried away. Well, who does the king suggest? What? Tell me they are not serious about this pine leaf. This Jajax is a corsair and will betray you on the first opportunity if he has not already. My scouts report that he has gone in the direction of Abadax Watch, southeast of Dol Amroth, likely to meet with those of his fellows in camp there. They are a danger to Gondor, and always will be. I hope that you know what you're doing. But if the king believes this is the right choice, then I will not speak against it. <laughs> oh well. Very right, well. Abinax, watch. Ah! Is that... Jax, right over there? Yes, it is. Hello there. Well, look who turned up. And just in time. In time? Yes, I have learned what happened to Dax, my friend. And I was just about to go inside and rescue him. But now that you're here, I see that the blessing of happy chance is upon me. I have always been one to the lucky ones, Pine Leaf, and that is why I have lived so long. Now, get in there, kill his captors, and keep my brother alive. Uh, we'll talk once you've done that, and not before. Ha 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 ha! Ah, Jajax. Well then. All I do is to take care of these guys. Well, they're not going to last very long. That's all I got to say about that. Alright, that you're down. I mean, I, I've been through a couple more zones. I had a little bit more experience against Corsairs. And of course, I'm pressed for time. So, you can expect that I'll be a lot better in combat than they. Where were we now? Oh, let's see. There is Dax, but I do need to kill a few more Corsairs first. Yeah, I assume that prisoner who's tied up there is Dax. We'll find out in a moment. I guess you can almost say, well, is there a prisoner there? Yes. Well, then that must be Dax by definition. And that's the kind of tussle he's likely to get into, right? And that's four. Hi! Oh, just in time for the party! Oh, it, th they're just coming to me! That That's quite amazing! They're gonna try to make this as easy as possible! Alright, and then is it? So I just need... Right, well, I have to go through this guy, so... I'm also well take care of him now. And then there is just one more over here, and we will have a perfect date. And you can't, you, can, you go. Now. Hello, Dax. Let me get out of this. Are you here to rescue me? Please say that is what brings you here. Yeah, that's what brings me here. Oh, good. Because for otherwise, I might... I fear that I might be die bound to this post. And that would make my brother very displeased. I'm sure of it. 
<laughs> okay, Jax is just outside. Ah, oh, thank you for this. I'll not forget it. All right. Well, that's one less thing we have to worry about. There we go. I told you I was lucky. All I had to do was wait, and you rescued my brother for me, huh? How oh, very fortunate! The stars truly smile upon Jajax. They always have and they always will. Now, what brought you in search of me? Uh huh. Why in the world would I do this? What could possibly you offer me that would make it worth my while to return to Umbar while it is under the control of the kindred? I told you what happened when Dax and I returned there. No! The answer is no. You will sail to Umbar without us. Oh? Okay. Oh, you have something to say, Dax? Wait. Daxman stares off into the distance, as if gathering his courage. I will join you, Pine Leaf, if you will have me. I fear the kindred of the coins, but I fear the heirs of Castamere more, and they still have supporters throughout these lands, and Corsairs here at Abrax's Watch belong to that number. They imprisoned me as a traitor to the heirs, and would do it again if given the chance. My brother says that he's the lucky one, but I think in recent days I have had the best fortune in the family, for your path brought you here to rescue me. I can't be certain that you will be near the next time unless I go with you on that ship. Count me amongst your crew, Pine Leaf. <laughs> well, what do you say about that, Jajax? So. That is the way of it, Dax. Uh, my brother has always been one who follows Pine Leaf. First, he served Bahor the Scourge as a deckhand in the Night Jewel. And then he served as Azgazor, Al his, bro his brother, until we slew him. And only then, always Dax needs someone to tell him what to do. Well... I am different. Jajax is a captain, not a crew member. He gives the commands. He is the one who leads. Jajax shakes his head at his brother and gives you a curt wave with one hand. This is where we part ways, Pine Leaf. I will find a crew and a ship of my own. May my brother serve you better than he served the heirs of Kastamir. Without me to keep him in line, I believe your ship will be doomed. A pity that. <sighs> A pity. Well, farewell. Farewell. Well then, we have Dax met in our crew. So we have two members we've recruited, Seergon and Dax met. But now, I think it's time for us to head into the Blackroot Vale because we need to find out whether or not Siglet has received our message. Perhaps there is news of Siglet here in Morlod. I just hope the people have calmed down since the time I was here. Hello? I am pleased to see you again. But what brings you here now? King Alessar sent word that he'll come in person to the Blackroot Vale after all. And I believe that I have you to thank for that. It's important for the folk of Morlad and the wider Vale to see their king. But what brings you here now? Hmm. From the north, you say? Does that mean you expect this elf warrior to come through the paths of the dead? I haven't seen her. At any rate, if you go to the dark door, perhaps you'll intercept her on her way? But <laughs> I find that rather hard to believe. Well... I'll go and check. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't miss her. So now, let's then head towards the dark door. Maybe I'll run into her before I get there. Ah, there's a swan knight up ahead. Maybe he'll know. Uh, hello there. I was wondering if you've seen an elf maid come by. What brings you once again to the Blackroot Vale? Hmm. 
Well, I will not press you any further on this, my friend, for a secret mission should remain secret, no matter how intriguing it might be to hear more of it. While you wait for your friend to arrive, perhaps you'll help me with my own task? I've been ordered to take make safe the Blackroot Vale, and I could use your help with that as before and as always. Ooh. When, what's more? Inconvenience, more of these spirits, I guess. All right. I suppose I can do that. I can make things as inconvenient as possible for them. Apparently, the brighter the day, the closer you have to go to the door in order to be able to find them. Who knows? Maybe before I get there, Siegelit will pop up and help me with it. Yeah, right. That's deeper. Ah, oh, here they are. For a moment there, I thought that they all decided to wander off somewhere else. And that would be an interesting change. Oh, yes. But always the dread. Always the dread. Actually, I really should have checked the dread level that we have in this area. Well, I can't... Oh, okay, it's just radiating out of those guys, apparently. So, that's... Eh, just those plus one, so easily countered by the glass. That's two. And yes, more to follow. Several more to follow. Ooh, it really did lead me close to that door. There it is, right up there. Maybe I could avoid going through there again. Be a nice idea. And now I think I have inconvenienced them for long enough, so let's get back to Rovalog. I think I inconvenienced several of them for the rest of the day. Thank you, my friend. It is always a pleasure to work alongside you. But wait, someone comes. Oh? Oh! How about that? Sigalith! Hi there! I did not expect to see you on the road. I would have found you, as we will find my brother. Hmm. Alright, you made it all through the paths of the dead then? Yes. I'm no stranger to places of evil, my friend. Oh boy, do I know that! <laughs> my stay beneath the dungeons of Dol Guldor has seen to that. I was untroubled by the paths of the dead. Any of the spirits that still dwell beneath the mountain chose not to hinder my passage, which was a wise choice for them. Now, tell me what you have learned of Corridan's whereabouts. Time is waiting. Wasting. Uh-huh. Well, your ship is docked at a lake in the west. I will meet you there and sail with you to Umbar. My brother will be freed from captivity and death. Just as I was when you thought that we did at the stairs of Dolgu Door. Let us not delay. Very well. Let us not delay. Well, that's settled. Yeah, this sounds like quite the adventure. I would go with you, but I'm commanded by the prince to make safe the veil, and I have never desired to do other than that. Good fortune go with you on your voyage, my friend. I hope to you accomplish all that you set out to do. Here you go. Now, that le is Sigalith. So that is our third person that we've recruited, right? Yes. Uh, Lord Kyrion. Then we had Daxamat. Then Sigalith. And now... Oh... Uh, I suppose that means we need to go and speak with the boy's mother. I am informing the crew to gather. Every day that passes brings my son further into danger. There must be no more delay. I will join the crew of the Wave Hunters so that I may ask the kindred of the coins to return Thorngill. 
but I will only ask once. If they refuse, I will bloody my sword and dent my shield on their carcasses. They have remained unused for too long anyway. My husband, Caradulion, always speaks of the need for patience and for thinking things through. Let's see where that has gotten us. Our son is stolen away by the enemies of Gondor. Well, they have made an enemy of Noriel, and she does not forgive as readily as Gondor. Recruit the crew that you think we will need for this voyage, Pineleaf. But remember, we the need I have for haste. Will you retrieve my sword and the shield from the armory in the lower level? I have had that sword sharpened and the shield reinforced since the Corsairs raided Tomb Rost, and they should now be ready for me. All right. Very well. We shall then gather up her weapons. They told me that the armory is down here in the basement. Yep. All right, let's go in. Uh, this looks like her shield. And then that's her sword. That's her shield! There we go. Now that's done. Ah! Hello, you wish to speak to me? I am no fighter. My wife has always been the firebrand. Yes, and my, she has a temper enough for both of us. But she matches it. Nay, she exceeds it in her martial skills. There are none more deadly in all the green hills with blade than she is. I am unlike my brother, you know. Doing here road to meanest Tirith and triumph and banners, and when he came back, he did so without his sons, for they were of fighting age. My Thoronkil was not, but he has been taken away from us all the same, and now I must rely upon my dangerous wife to retrieve them. Do I risk losing them both? These are the thoughts that keep me awake at night, Pineleaf. I'll remain here to oversee Pinneth Gilleen while Norio's away. But my thoughts will always sail with her as she rides the ways to Umbar. I will give her a favor to carry into battle so that she knows that her husband's heart goes with her. All right. Well then, uh, let's bring her the shield. Here's your kit. Thank you for bringing me my equipment and for speaking with my husband. I will carry my husband's favor in the battle on behalf of our son Throngil, should battle prove necessary. My husband would be the first to tell you that he's no fighter, but I love him all the more for it. I do the fighting for us, and without regret. Carandolion will see that Penneth Galin does not suffer my absence, and when I return, I'll return with our son and only his father will celebrate more loudly and happily than I. I will await your command and the rest of the crew at the Wave Hunter. Very well. And... 148. Here we go. And that means that we have just two more people to recruit, but they're most likely going to be together because they are Gimli and Legolos, who I believe I will find at Parth Hirion. I have been informed that Gimli is on the docks, which is, I must say, the last place I would expect to find Gimli. He isn't exactly one who loves the sea. Hi there. I know why you are here, my friend, and of course I will agree to sail with you into danger. I hope you didn't expect me to refuse, but I have set foot upon one too many moats for my liking in these per past few months. I simply do not like them. Show me a dwarf who does and I'll be very surprised. 
the folk hereabouts say that the bay is generally calm. Generally. But I know that even the calmest waters can shake a boat to its very foundations. Do I say foundations? <laughs> boat has no such things, and tosses and turns are merest whim of the waves. Seasickness is a concern, my friend. Legolos inquired on my behalf, seeking a remedy for it, and learnt that there is an herbalist in Melgobas who to prepare a suitable concoction. Will you go there and see if it is ready? And you may also ask the elf if he desires to join your crew as well. I assume he will, but you should ask him for yourself. Alright, I shall do so. Yeah. You're telling me that there is no one in the oldest... Settlement? Or I should say the oldest... Numenorean culture settlement in all of Middle Earth. This particular place does not have a remedy for seasickness. Okay. Hello there, are you the herbalist who sells seasickness potions? A seasickness remedy? You are the second person to ask for such a concoction today. The first was an elf, and I'll tell you what I told him. The effectiveness of such an elixir varies depending upon the person who takes it, and what works for one may not work for another. I don't give back the purchase price in the event of the dissatisfied. I sent the elf to collect some Langstrand flowers and beet parts, beast parts for the creatures hereabout, and while he has not yet returned, if you perform the same task as he, the work may be finished more quickly. I make use of parts from crawlers, our rocks, and crabs in various unguents and potions that I create, and would appreciate any that you bring back to me. Okay. Very well. Uh, thank you. I guess. Here's an ox that could serve as the first donor for particular parts. Not sure what all the parts that are needed, but I am sure that the butcher will appreciate any parts that she doesn't need, right? Whether it's for the people or for the various cats in the area. Now, let's see if I can find anything else around here. Ah, and of course, I can't forget the wildflowers. She was very, very specific that we needed to have some wildflowers in this mixture. Now, I suspect that she didn't want to go through the trouble of telling us exactly what wildflowers are needed for what remedy because she uses such a wide variety of them that She'd figure that we will stumble upon a decent one between me and Legolos. Perhaps one of us will find the right plant, and the others will come in useful for other remedies. I have brought back the ingredients. Thank you for bringing me these. They will all be used in something. Your friend returned shortly before you did, and I have given him the seasickness remedy that I promised. I give to you the same warning that I gave him. It may not have the desired effect upon the dwarf for whom it is intended. It truly really does vary based on the individual, and it doesn't work as you would expect. It is not the failing of the potion, but or of the one who brewed it. But I hope it does help him. Seed sickness is not a pleasant thing for anyone. Right. Well, what do you gotta say about that, uh, Legolas? I hope possession of this remedy will ease the turmoil of Gimli's stomach. Gimli may not even need to ingest it, if he knows it to be near at hand and might be taken if necessary. I'll not tell him of the chance that it will do nothing unless he asks directly. 
I will not lie to my friend, but this information can do no good in advance and may instead do harm. There was no need for you to come all the way here to speak to me, Pine Leaf. Of course I'll join the mission. Your sea longing, the sea ha has me and will not abate, but I understand that the wave hunter will remain in the bay and not pass out into the great sea. There will still be things for me to see and to do before I begin my last voyage, and I count high the number of aiding uh, to your rescue of young Throngill from the clutches of the kindred of the coins. I'll be pleased to join your crew, my friend. Both I and Gimli will meet you by the wave hunter when you are ready to depart. And I think that's the last of the companions. So, next time we will return to report that everyone's gathered, then head over to the wave hunter where we will begin our great voyage to rescue Throngil. What could possibly go wrong? Let's we'll find that out in the next episode of the Song of Waves and Wind.